Hello, I'm your Kingdom Spiritual Transformational and Life Purpose Life Coach and Mentor Latricia Booker here with Kingdom Business. Well, we are empowered. Well, we heal, we get delivered, and we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power, and that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. We are history makers, we are world changers, we are dream successors, we are wealth generators, we are manifestors, we are curse breakers, and we most definitely are transformers, more than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. Kingdom people, thank you all so very much for viewing my videos. Thank you for all the likes, subscribe, shares, for all of the comments, and for all of your feedback, for all of your encouraging words. Thank you, kingdom people, for all the financial contributions to my channel, for all the seeds that you sow into me and my ministry. Kingdom people, thank you all so very much for everything that you do here on Kingdom Business. Thank you, kingdom people. And so, kingdom people, I am on location. And you already know what I'm here to do. And if you don't know, then now you know. I am here to drop this, beat this, word, this message. <laughs> mm, yeah. So, came to people. I am the chain breaker. And you are chain breakers too, came to people. Are y'all ready to break these chains? Let's go. So, listen up, my kingdom people. Listen up. Let me tell y'all something. Over this past weekend, God had really given me a, a break on, you know, speaking to me prophetically, you know, just giving me messages and, you know, prophetically speaking. And, and I mention that because that's not common for me these days. God is always dropping something on me. And so, the thing is, although he wasn't giving me any messages per se, it was just giving me a break from those things, he was really dealing with me about some things. And he was showing me some things, came to people. And so, what happened is this. There are some things, and I'm going to speak specifically about family members. And it's something that I didn't even care to go into, but it keeps coming up. And God was talking to me. He was dealing with me. I, I would call it, he was lifting the veil from my eyes. Now, this is the thing, came to people. It was something that I knew, that I was aware of, that I was exposed to before. But you know how sometimes, came to people, you can see some things, you know, but you just look past it. You just don't take it seriously or personal. And so what, what I'm speaking of is this, you know, I have some, some, okay, put it like this. Let me go back some. I'm being led to go back a little bit. Last week, you know, again, I'm being made aware of things. I'm picking up on things. You know, God is showing me things where it concerns people, family members, and I'm going to say people that operate on the lower ramps. What do I mean by lower realms? Sometimes it's called low vibration. Low vibration, high vibration. All low vibration is, well, first of all, vibration is a form of physics. Vibration, your phone vibrates. So for those of you who feel like I, I've heard before, that's not of God, that's not demonic. I mean, that's demonic. You know, that's physics. Your phone vibrates if you put it on vibrator. That's a vibration. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't want to go too much into that, but I just want to point that out before I continue. What happens is this. When it's spoken of in that way, vibration, low vibration is more so when you when you operate in the lower spirit, in the lower realm. Meaning, fear, hate, jealousy, envy, covetousness, um, witchcraft, um, you know, those kind of things where you're trying to hurt people, harm people, stop, block. Those are not positive things. It's on the lower realm. 
Now, when you operate in the spirit of love, kindness, meekness, um, you're helpful, you're not gossipy, you're not jealous, those kind of things where you lift people up, you inspire people, you know, those kind of things, you help push people on instead of trying to block and stop. Those are higher realms. Those are, that's operating in a higher frequencies, higher vibration. So when, when that's spoken of, that's all that means. That's all that means. If you're operating in evil ways, you're low vibrational. If you're operating in negativity, toxicity, all those things are already like that is lower vibration. When you're operating in a spirit of love and all these things, and that doesn't mean that you have it always. Listen, I'm going to put it like this. You have Some of us had to work to get there because we were around people, situations, circumstances where it was toxic, it was negative, or it was some form of toxicity and negativity. So I'm saying all that to say this. Becoming aware of God was just really dropping some things on me last week. And I'm going to say concerning people, certain people, but I'm going to say in particular my own family, certain people in my own family. So it is what it is. And so like I said, it's not nothing new. I've been looking past a lot of things, but what happened was last last week I got really how can I say this? I said out of my mouth, I told God, because he was just showing me stuff, dropping stuff on me. Now, I'm minding my business. Matter of fact, I was in the bed laying down. God just showing me stuff. He's showing me. Nothing really new per se, but it was just like some of it. Well, not so much new, but just bringing it to my attention. Like I said, I look past a lot of stuff. Because this is a thing to people. People have issues. So we do have to tend to look past people because they have issues. We have issues and we have things we need to work through. Listen, this is what I'm reminded of right now. My son's father used to say to me, Patricia, you have issues, but you don't bother anybody with yours. So what I'm saying is this. These people that God was bringing to my attention, the people and include my family members, yeah, they have issues, which is why I look past them, which is why whatever. But God, this is where the issue came in at. They want to, they bother people with their issues. And what do I mean by that? Envy, jealousy, and even going so far to try to stop, block, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Just stay with me, kingdom people. This is like a fragile thing or sensitive thing. And what I mean by that is because I didn't hear so much to talk about this and go into this, but I you know, put you up on how this, this even came about for me to speak on. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, I look past a lot because, oh, they just got issues. You know, they'll be all right, whatever, whatever. So I look past a lot. So last week when God was dropping all this stuff down on me, it was a thing of, I said, I said it out of my mouth. I said, I'm tired of my family. I said, I'm tired of them. And so, I and I meant that. You know, and it was understandable. And this is the crazy thing. What I'm literally hearing right now is that's where God needed me to be. Okay. So this is, and it's not everybody, all of them. It's just certain ones that operate in witchcraft. Okay. So I just went to get in this place where I'm like, I'm tired of my family. And what has happened is kingdom people... We can tend to ascend, transform, evolve. And so what happens when you're doing that, you're coming up higher and higher in God. So people that are not doing that, remember low vibration, lower operating in a lower realm, high vibration, you're going higher in God. What happens is you get, you don't even, you, you just can't do that kind of stuff no more. You do get tired of it. Now this is the crazy part. I don't even deal with these people like that. But I'm aware. God shows me. Part of what it is is because they monitor me. They're watching me. They feel in certain kind of ways. They're doing whatever among each other in groups and gossiping or whatever they do among each other. And God is making me aware of it. And so it's a thing where I don't, you know, I'm tired of them. And so I came to this place of I could do without them. I don't care to even have anything to do with them. 
and it comes more keen of people of a place of I don't care to deal with stuff like that or people like that again that low vibrational lower realm stuff activity I can't why can the people because I'm going higher you're going higher can the people and so you're coming to a place where you're not able to digest or deal with those kind of lower things because it's not who you are it's not where you are okay this is what happened went through all that over the weekend like I said God started showing me some things and he put some stuff in my face now let me say this the title of this message is your real is rare your real is rare I had this written down in my notebook before previously real is rare because God had given me that real is rare so this morning when he gave me this to speak more he said your real is rare okay stay with me I'm getting there so what happened was over the weekend as I said God gave me a break from prophetic messages but he was dealing with me he was bringing up to me a certain family member one in which like I said I looked past a lot of their stuff. It was things that had been done over the years. Now, so I shared with you all about one family member before, and they both are elders. And this is not the same one. This is a different one that I just kind of brushed off her stuff as, you know, she just got issues, which is true. And some of her issues, I know what they are. You know, I kind of know why this person is like they are, but I just always look past it and just never made anything of it so what happened was over the weekend god was putting this person in my face and and made me see and her notice i said made me see made me look at some things and you know like i said there was some things that i was aware of over the years some little jealousy some little things where you know i knew there was some things going on but again i looked past them so god put him put this person right in my face in my act and started showing me specific things that were done that were said and what they were designed to do and one thing that he pointed out the most of was that they said something to me to plant a seed of doubt they did this several times but one in particular stood out the most and the reason why it stood out the most was because the seed of doubt that they attempted to plant was to keep me from what God had for me and so when God really set me down and had me just start running this down to me, showing me this person and just different things. Like I said, I just be looking past this person. God forced me to, not forced me, but made me look and see what this was. So, of course, me being me and, you know, being where I am right now, it was a thing of God, you know, just had me in this place of, it's a wrap for this person. Because what that means is that this person does not want me to be who God created me to be. As we already know, it's out of jealousy. I have a thing with that kind of people. Let me tell you why. When God was showing me this about this person and just different things with different people, it's nothing new. But just going through this, you know, like I said, dealing with this over this past weekend, I, I felt like, I'm like, God. And then he was showing me this, how... They don't, this is what it all come down to. God said they don't want you to be who you are, who God, who he created me to be. They don't want me to have the blessings of God. They don't want me to enter into that place where God has me, what he's purposed for me. They don't, and then this, he said, God even told me this. He said they don't want to see you happy. And this is like several people. They don't want to see you happy. They want you to be alone. They want you to be miserable. They want you to be by yourself, even to the point of not wanting me to be in a relationship. And what God pointed out to me, they want don't want you to be, they don't want you to be with your kingdom spouse. Because what has happened is the person that God has brought me with is my kingdom spouse. And it's who it's God ordained. And what it is is that, and many of this is so for you all, two kingdom people. So, what it is, is that when God brings something together, whatever it is, whether it's your relationship, your business, your purpose, anything, whatever God is doing, what He, if He's ordaining it and He's the one bringing it to fruition, is what He's purposed for you, it's blessed. 
So ultimately what God was showing me is that these particular people, and like I said, this one in particular that God really made me take a look at, don't want me walking in the blessings of God. Now, I always say they just going to be wanting. My thing was this, kingdom people, it, it, like I always say, if someone does not want the best for you and they're actually opposed to it, furthermore, doing things to keep you from that. Again, like I said, planting seeds, trying to plant seeds of doubt, dropping certain things here and there. That means that the person don't mean you no good. That means this is the thing, kind of people. I told God this. I said, I don't, I get that these things happen, but when God was even showing me how people want to know, you know, people want to know your this, want to know this, what you doing, and what you, who you got going, what you got going on, who you with, all this. I mean, this weekend, all this was going on, and it blew me, came to people, because I'm like, this is what people sit up and doing, sit up and be doing, and I'm like, I don't do that. I'm not, I don't be focused on nobody else. I'm not trying to know what other people have going on in their life. If I'm aware, I'm aware. If I know, if I notice things. But not so to the point I'm so deeply trying to know and see what they're doing, who they're with, what they got going on. I'm like, that's just too much. And I was completely aggravated by it. And again, like I said, when I say aggravated, I mean just the fact that this is what people want. And when I'm aware that this is what particular people want, again, it puts me in this space of I don't even want to deal. Like, you don't want to, I don't want to have anything to do with people of this nature. And so that's ultimately what happened. And just knowing that this is what you're on, this is what you're doing. And let me just say this. It's not a thing where you need to have a, I need to have a conversation and talk about it. I just don't want to have nothing to do with it. I don't want to have nothing to do with them. Doesn't mean I won't at some point for some reason, especially when it concerns family. But that's just going to be on a business that is poor and keep it moving. And it's the thing, kind of people, I ain't, I ain't angry, not mad, not tripping. It just is what it is. And this is the thing. God said the reason why the reason why you ruffle their feathers because it's like they feel a certain kind of way because king of people you're moving in the things of God you're doing what God is telling you to do and I'm just hearing they don't and they didn't they're not there it's just ain't and and God said that's why you're real it's rare because this is not something that happens all the time or everyone don't experience people like you kingdom people your real is rare your real is rare and they notice it that's why listen you stand out you just being you doing you i was thinking about this how god was pointing out to me some time ago certain ones that be like you do dress the way you dress and wear what you wear to get attention and it's like first of all we have, not that people don't do that, but you have every right to wear what you like. And sometimes when you do, people notice. I mean, we all got ass, we can see. But this was the thing, came to people. It's, it's a thing of people feeling like they don't want you to be who you are. And every time I, I say they don't want or they won't, it blows me because who are these people to want and not want for your life? And particularly where it's like they want something bad for you. They don't want anything good for you. So, okay. Your real is rare, kingdom people. Your real is rare. And because you are so real, real, it is rare. And it bothers them. And this is part of what causes these ones to want to get in your way. Stop, block, all that, be hating. Because you're so real. And your real is rare. They know you are rare. And it makes them feel certain kind of ways. Okay. Now I got to run it back in a little bit. So, God was showing me about this particular person. Now, one person I already shared with you all, I already knew about. God had already ran everything down to me concerning this person. I've had experiences with them. I'm like, yep, yep, yep. But then God would take me back and show me things to show me this what this was, this what this was, this what this was. Again, pulling a veil off of my ass. Now, 
removing the bell off of my ass. Not that I didn't know, but he clarified. He's showing, he revealing some things. So now this is the this person again. Again, this person has been in trying to do the same thing. I knew they had some little stuff going on in them where I was concerned, but God had to really show me that they've been at this since I've been since forever. Trying to stop, block, keep me from just playing all these games. You know how these people like to, like I said, drop, um, like I'm over here, like drop these little seeds. You know, that's what they do drop seeds, you know, say certain things to try to get it to linger and make you think on. And, you know, just it's a game. And then they, you know, do they little stuff, do they little sneak, slick stuff, passive aggressive, I would call it. And then be, you know, go about, you know, their business in their way of doing things but you know sad land <laughs> on the side they just kind of doing little I'm calling it what it is what I'm hearing is evil stuff because they're trying to drop seeds of doubt they're doing and these seeds of doubt remember are designed to keep you from moving forward in what it is God has for you so God like I said brought to my attention something that was said to me three years ago that I noticed I thought it was all and it was just to me like they just got issues and i know this person has issues and even with what was said it was kind of like it just god had to bring it to my attention for me to see no they're trying to stop you they're trying to keep you from moving forward now this person done something that long ago that really kind of brought them to my attention like something that they did all I noticed it. God said some things to me about it. I left it there. Now, now this is a month later, I'll say. Uh, yeah, about a month later. Now, all this is coming up. So, I'm getting all that to say, King of People, your real is rare. And this is a lot of why all these things are happening to you. This is the reason why these ones keep trying to stop, block, and do all this, this, that, and other. Because your real is rare. You ain't like nobody else, King of People. I know we done heard it. I know I done probably said it. But for real, for real, your real is rare. And this is why people go through extremes to try to stop you. And this is the key. They ain't real, King of People. These people are not real. They are fakes. They are phonies. They are frauds. God was literally pointing this out to me about another one of the ones that I had already spoke about before. How... Some I forget exactly what was going on, but God was talking to me about them, saying some things, and I said, they phony, they fake, based on what God was showing me. Then God took me back to different things that I would notice over the years, certain little things that this person would do, and just certain ways they had about themselves, and I would just be looking, and I'm like, I would even be look, thinking, that seems fake. That seems phony. What God said was that's because it is. That's because it was. So all along, I was seeing it for what it was, but I just was at a place where, you know, you try to look past things. You try not to be judgmental. You try not to whatever. But when God lift that veil, he going to make you see things for what it is. And King the people, your real is rare. These people are fake and phony. And that's why they're trying to take you out. That's why they're trying to stop you, block you. And like I said, some of these ones, particularly the ones in your family, particularly the elders, don't have to be elders because I got some just some other little stuff that some of them younger than me. Some of them about around in my age. But it's a few of them <laughs> that are my elders. Been trying to take you out for a long time. They've been trying to stop you from being able to move forward and make that progress in God because they see it they know it they see it on you and they don't want you to have it they don't want you to do it they don't they have allowed the enemy the devil to use them and you got to remember that these people I'm just here know they have demons and God made me aware this morning he said they know what they're doing now one of these ones God showed me not long ago just from whatever is happening did not realize it was as deep as it was in other words they know what they're doing. They're aware of what they're doing. They know what they're doing ain't okay. Yeah, you letting the devil use you, but you're in agreement with it because you letting them. But he said they're aware of what they're doing, but, you know, they just don't realize how deep it really is. In other words, kingdom people, 
you letting the devil straight up use you. And this is the thing. You think God don't you either you don't believe that, that God is real and that he exists and these people are in the church, okay? Either you don't believe because it's like what are you doing? How you know what you're doing and okay. If you're trying to stop, not keep somebody dropping um sees a doubt being on some crap because that's what it is king of people do you not consider god and the fact that he see and he i don't get it but that goes right back to what i said what god said he said they don't realize how deep this is they're digging their own grave trying to stop you and here's the thing king of people here's the thing they do all that trying to stop block you for years some of them try to Keep you in the fall, keep you in the days, all kind of stuff came to people. And some of these ones actually do black magic and all that woo-doo, woo-doo, all these stuff. They were literally trying to have you under a, not trying to, God has said no, they literally kind of had you under a spell. Here's the thing, and I just heard a curse. Here's the thing, you breaking free anyway. Exactly what they were trying to keep you from doing, getting to, moving in your purpose, guess what's happening? You doing it anyway. You know why I came to people? Because they ain't bigger than God. But that's why they try to keep you in this fall. Because they know that they can't stop God. But if they can keep you or have you. But came to people. It ain't even happening. You still walking into everything God has for you. You still rose up and rising up and ascending into exactly who God called you to be. They really didn't stop nothing. Now let me just give you these scriptures before I get too ahead of myself and probably already did that. God said this. The reason why your real is rare is because of this. 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself. Can the people, what has happened here? You know that you don't belong to God. You have given yourself to God. And that makes that's what makes your real your real rare. King of people, they ain't giving they self to God. They haven't done that. They don't feel like they belong to God or their temple belong to God. They might say it and know the scriptures and all that, but they not doing that. That's why they tripping on you. Because you're really doing that, King of People. Your real is rare. Everybody ain't walking around here embodying a Christ. Everybody ain't out here and, you know, doing it the way God designed. Everybody is not really allowing God to have, you know, take up residence in him. Everybody has not given themselves to God and, and actually know, uh, you know, have a thing where your temple belongs to God that you not your own you're God's you belong to God everybody not doing that but you are that's why your rare <laughs> your real is rare they know that they not real these people know they fake and they phony and they frauds but they know kingdom people you are the real deal I said it that long ago you are the real MVP and for the one who says they don't know what that means is most valuable player most valuable player kingdom people you you are the of the real mvp your real is rare because you doing it for real these ones is fake now they present an image they try to have a way about themselves to make themselves or make people think that they the real deal but they not that's why they go through extremes yeah, underhanded, passive aggressive. Because they ain't on making it known. But they don't realize at the same time you sin. And then when it's all said and done and God lifting the veil and showing you stuff. And that's what that's the other part, King of People, that be tripping me out. Like when it's all said and done, God still showing you. All that work for nothing. They did all that just for you to still walk into your stuff. And this is what God is saying. He said he prepared the table for you in the presence of your enemies. Now, here's what's happening here. The people, they did all that, trying to stop and block you and keep you from moving into what God has for you. I don't know. That's just so crazy to me, King. The people, it is. 
They did all that. And guess what's happening? They're watching. He said he prepared the table for you in the presence of your enemies. They're watching the table be prepared for you. They was watching it all along. That's why they was trying to stop it and block it. The thing came to people is this. You still got your table. You still fin sitting down, finna sit down or sit down to feast at your table that God has prepared for you. Here's what God told me as clear as day this morning. He said they won't be at your table. They'll be watching, which is part of why they're trying to see what's going on, see what, who she with, what she doing, how much money she make, how she all up in your business. Because they know that table is being set for you in their presence. Okay, the people, the same table they was trying to stop and block and keep you from having. They're watching you eat to the extent that they can watch. Because remember, King the people, we don't have them all up in our business. That's why they're trying to figure out what's going on. You talking about trying to figure out what's going on with everything you was trying to stop and block? That's what you're trying to figure out? Here's the other thing to that kingdom people. God gave me this too this morning. But first let me say this one. God said to me, I think I said this not long ago. He cleared them out because you're getting ready to feast. God told me this morning, you are walking up. I'm, I'm showing you these things. Listen, kingdom people. I'm showing you these things who they are because they can't be a part of what I'm taking you into. They don't get to enjoy. They don't get to be a part of. They don't get to eat off your table. The same table they was trying to stop you from getting. The same table they was trying to keep you from. The same destiny. They was trying to drop seeds of doubt so you wouldn't move into it. How dare they want to be a part of what they were trying to keep you from. Check this out, King of People. They were so they so busy trying to keep you from it. So if you're trying to keep, if they're trying to keep you from it, if they're trying to keep you from it, let's just say they succeed. That means that you wouldn't have it. So how could they be a part of it? King of People, you're going to have what you're going to have. You're going to go with God taking you. You're going to get everything God has for you. They won't be a part of it. No kingdom people, they won't be a part of what it was, what it is, that they was trying to keep you from. God said that's why he's revealing them to you, kingdom people. He's revealing them to you so you can know who they are so that you won't share with them because it's not for them. This, what your God is doing for you is not for the people who was trying to keep you from it. Even if they did certain things for you at one point in time in your life and they did... Can the people, some of these woods was helping you and doing some little things, but trying to stop you and block you and knock you all at the same time. They were trying to present an image like they were being helpful, but they was hating on you and trying to block you all at once. And then all they would want to remember is what they did. Tell the part about what you were doing on the evil side, too. Tell all of it. But can the people, they're not going to do that. These people are not going to do that. Now, check this out. God said to me, that yes they're going to watch you move into your stuff they're going to they they watching it now it's already happening they're trying to figure out what's going on but they're not going to eat with you they're not going to be a part of what he's taking you into which is why I think I just said this but let me just say it again which is why he's making you aware which is why he's lifting the veil listen Right be as you walk, I want to say right before you go into it, but he just corrected me and said right as you're walking into it. He's you I just heard you dropping dead weight. Not that you had them anyway, but these people are all on you watching, stalking, because I know God be showing me some of bad that be stalking, watching, trying to see, want to know what's going on. Why? You talking about what 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 part of it is they want to it's a, it's a, I want to say a contradiction. It's a combination and contradiction of trying to see if all of what they did to stop and block is working and watching to see you, watching you walk into your destiny. Sound like an oxymoron to me, but they mixed up. They messed up, came to people. But God is warning you about these people. Because he wants you to release them. Because they are not supposed to be a part 
of what God is doing with you. You know why, kingdom people? Because your real is rare. And these blessings is rare. These blessings are for you. And whoever God, you know, uses you to bless. Because you know how we blessed to be a blessing? He said, that ain't for everybody. Give not what's holy to the dogs. You don't help these evildoers. You not want to be out here sharing the blessings that they were trying to keep you from with them. That's why God is making you aware, aware of them. Kingdom people, your real is rare. Your real is rare. And that's why they hating on you. It ain't many of you, uh, many of you out here. It's only 144,000 of us chosen ones, kingdom people. Your real is rare. And that's why all that, and that's why all this what it is, and that's why all what is going into, all that. The reason being is because your real is rare. Okay, candy people? Okay. I think I did my due diligence. <laughs> Like I said, that was kind of a interesting one for me. As I started off saying God gave me a break on some prophetic messages, but then he was revealing some stuff. He was revealing some things. And, you know, as I said, that's because it's time to go. And they just going to watch to the extent that they can. They're going to see you eating. They want to know details. They ain't getting no specific details. Specific details on what you tried to stop. Let me get out of here, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to let that rest right there. <laughs> oh, King of people, if you like this video and know if it resonates with you, please just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Then click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you have never already done so. Then click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. Also, if you are interested in any of the services that I presently offer, if you would like to purchase merch from my merch store, if you would like to sow a seed into me and my ministry, support the channel, you can find all the information right down below in the description box. Also, I do have a YouTube membership. Check that out by clicking on the join button right down below also. And so here came the paper. I think that's everything. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> we are, we are, we are. We are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers. And we most definitely are transformers. More than meets the eye. <laughs> yeah, King the People. We are, we are, we are. King the People, I love you all so very much. I really do appreciate you being here with me, spending this time. You could be anywhere, but you chose me for now. I appreciate you all for that. Kinder people, y'all know I don't want to leave you. But I do have to go right now. But I will be back to hold my kingdom people down. Now, with that being said, kingdom people, much love, light, and peace. And many blessings to you all. Kingdom people, that is my time. Jesus, girl, she's out. Peace.